In this video, we're gonna look into Unity's new package called the Device Simulator that enables us to check our games on multiple platforms without having to build the game like this here. So yeah, let's get started. So here I'm using one of my newly developed games, Crazy Cars Nuns 3D which I have recently published on Play Store, so go ahead and check it out right now using this link here. Alright, so as a game dev we have all faced this problem at some point where our game just doesn't support some devices and we have to keep building the game and again and again to test it out on multiple devices, which gets a lot of frustrating and of course time consuming. So Unity has made a new package for us that saves us a lot of time. And in order to create the package, let's go to Windows, Package Manager, and here we need to find Device Simulator. So let's just type in device here. And of course, it won't show because if we go to Advanced, here we need to enable this Show Preview Packages. Awesome. And now if we try to find it again, let's type in device. Here and here it is. So all we need to do is go ahead and just install this package. And right away, it will import some files into Unity. So let's just wait for it. Alright, All right, so once it's imported, we will be able to choose between two windows, either the game view or the simulator view. So let's select this one. And this is how it looks like. Let's give it some more room. So I'm using this J7 device. Let's maybe give it a bit more room here. And and here we can select this to make the device fit the size of our window and also we can rotate this device to see how it looks in different orientation but i have locked off the orientation to landscape for my device here and here you can see the uh, different specifications of your device like the operating system and of course the both cpu and gpu architecture of the device and finally the resolution of the selected device which in my case is galaxy j7 and here you can see the different screen settings for the device. The default would be the native settings of the, your selected device. So let's just leave it like that. And finally here you get the application settings. Like the system language. And of course you can say change the settings. And the internet reachability. So you can either set it to Wi-Fi or cellular data network. So let's just set it to not reachable for now. And finally you get this on load memory callback that, that I'm not really sure what it does so let's just leave it for now and of course you can check out the documentation page if you have any problems using this package everything is explained here with great detail and also how to use it like this rotate option here and if we go down of course the safe area so let's just go back inside of unity we can see this safe area so let's enable this and it will draw this green outline here for the safe area and we need to make sure all of our game content stays within this green outline so it doesn't get cut off while playing the games on these devices and here we can choose between multiple devices that already comes with this package and of course I have made this adaptive canvas so my UI elements always stay at the correct position. So you can just try it out on different devices to see if it works properly. And if anything seems off to you, you can of course adjust it and see the changes in real time in this device simulator. Which saves us a lot of testing time. And also you can add your own devices like mine's a7 which is of course not here so i can add my own custom device to this and for that we first need to go to the documentation page go to adding custom devices and here we can see how to add a custom device to this package so the directory is defined here how to open up the how to set up the directory for our device simulator and blah 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 so all that you need to focus here is when we are creating the device file we need to put in our dot device dot json extension at the end of our file and if we go down a bit let's just ignore all this 
and here inside of the minimal device we can see this code here all we need to do is copy and paste this code inside of our device so let's go ahead and do that right now let's copy this go back to unity and open up edit preferences and here need to select this device simulator and we can browse the directory and of course we first need to create a new folder for our devices and I'm gonna do that inside of the SS folder let's create a new folder let's call this devices open this up and here we can uh, and here we can create the list of all the devices let's just save this and open up that folder again so go to devices and here we're gonna create our first device so let's create a new text document let's I will call this one my phone and of course put dot device dot json extension at the end let's save this and now let's open it up so let's just open it up inside of notepad and we need to pass the code that we copied from the page from the documentation page so let's go down here is the code make sure you copy this and we just need to pass the code here and here we can change the friendly name so the device so the name that will show up in the devices I'll call it my phone and of course you can change the different size of your screens so we're not gonna do that for now so let's just save this and let's head back inside of unity make sure that the directory is correct let's close this and now if we search for our device my phone here it is and of course nothing fancy is going to happen here because we have just set up the screen size so this one here and the OS version of our device but if you want to add the complete device you need to go back to this documentation page and if we go down a bit here it is you can add the complete device using this whole code here which is kind of a lot so yeah if you want to try this out just go ahead and do that it will work the same way like we did with my phone here awesome and the best part is we can also play the game using the simulator so let's just hit play now and here we go let's try things out yep so seems to be working just fine let's try to play the game and here are all the levels here for my game so let's start with level 1, see if it works. Awesome, so yeah, it starts right off. And of course I won't be able to play this game using a single mouse control. So yeah, don't judge me, okay? I'm a pro at this. But yeah, it kind of looks good. Everything seems to be working just fine. And also we can restart the game and pretty much do everything else so you can just test out your own games on this device simulator to see if everything works just fine for different devices and of course you can change the devices uh, during the play mode so if you want just go ahead and do that and don't forget to check out my game link is in the description so yeah that's all for this video and if you enjoyed it please leave a like on this video and i'll see you in the next one